What's up? This is Big Lee with Hustler Spirit. I got Mr. Fleece in here. Fleece, what's on your mind today? I got this dude. First of all, let me tell my friends this. I didn't understand at first why my agent, the one that just introduced me, Big Lee, why he want to interview this guy and let this guy call me bitch and all this shit. Well, after talking to me, you know, I got mad about it. But he talked to me, he said, look, brother, it wouldn't be fair to the fans if we didn't have a reaction from somebody. You know, if somebody got something whether well, it's good or bad to say, uh, people want to hear it. He said, whether well, it's telling the truth or telling a lie, people, you know, has a constitutional right to freedom of speech. The guy called me a bitch, said that uh, he was locked up with me, a dude named Oscar, 74 years old, said he was locked up with me, said that uh, I was in there raping 16 years old and 15 year old, all that shit lying, you know. So, yeah, I'm pissed off because I was the, here in Kentucky, I'm the first juvenile that ever went to the penitentiary. You know, after me, 15, 20 years later came Kevin Stanford. You know, a death row inmate, 16, get locked up for the murders. What I said in my agent was this. I said, if I saw you rob a bank and I tell the police, that's the man that robbed the bank, then they're going to lock you up. But if the police, I said, yeah, somebody robbed the bank. They said, did you see who did it? I said, no, but uh, I believe it was that guy. They said, but did you see him? No. So he one of them types that when I went to Eddieville Prison, there had some black people down there that were kissing all the white people's ass in the Grange and in Eddieville. Kissing their ass, man. That them white people treat them like, like worse than they treated the slaves, right? I came in there and I busted up all that. I fought. I kicked their ass, whooped their ass. Now, this dude here that run in his mouth, and I'm talking to you, Oscar. I'm not going to do all that big and small Tupac crap. You know, run your mouth. We got beef and all that old stuff. I, I, I'm not with all that. Because if I got beef, I don't sleep on it, and I don't turn a blind eye to it. I will confront whoever I got to beef with. I confront them face to face. If you, you beefing with me, we can meet face to face and solve it. Easy. But my agent said, oh man, this man got cancer. He about ready to die, six months to live. He running his mouth. See, his friend, he got a friend that turned gay, he used to be gangster here in Louisville. His friend turned gay. And I, ta I talked about it, I'll I bust you out. And so he attacked me because he was in a cell with this guy. They were cellmates. So the guy he was cellmate with, he was gay back in the 70s. Because I remember a time in prison, me and him got in a fight. Uh, he was going to move in a cell with this sissy, old sissy. And I took the sissy's money. And I told him about it. I took your boy's money. He said, leave me alone, man. I know your whole family did. I said, fuck you, fuck your mammy. You know, I was wrong saying that. So when we came out, he hit me right here and blacked both my ass with one punch. But he went downstairs and said, you want some more? And I dusted him. And then when I went to the child hall and ate and, and, and came out, went in the gym, here come about 30 people running out. Block him out. Block, don't let him run, this and that. They had weapons. All these white boys with him and stuff like they're going to kill me. I stood with my granddad ain't do shit. Here I am. All that blocked the door and all that. 
See, I ran into these people all of my life, and I've been trying to tell my agent. People ask me, why you been going off? Man, this shit happened when I was a teenager. You know, I met somebody today that told my agent all the people I used to rob. It wasn't, it, you know who I robbed? Dope dealers. Prostitutes, dope dealers. And dope dealers were bringing all them drugs down there in the projects. Killing all the people, the heroin and shit back in the 70s. I robbed them, threw their shit in the toilet, kept the money, kept the weed. But I threw all the hard shit away. I, I, I did it all over Louisville. You not going to bring this shit in my neighborhood, right? That was my protest. And, I, and when I got locked up, I did the same thing in the penitentiary. I fought in there. I only had 10 years, end up doing 40. Because I stood for something. I'm not like these little slave, uh, uh, Uncle Tom, black chalk mouth slaves, modern day slaves that cater to these white people, man. I fought them. And so now dude run his mouth. And I want all my fans to know, I'm not going to get up here and do all this cussing. Oh, nigga, you a bitch. You I don't do it. When I know I got beef, I think I got beef, I confront you. I don't care if you police, uh, John Gotti, uh, the mafia. I will come to your door, bro. You got beef with me? And we can solve it any way you want to. I'm not afraid of penitentiary punishment and the penitentiary, none of that. Even though I did 40 years, nigga, I can go back and do 40 more. If I live that long. But if you got beef with me, don't get on the internet and talk all this crazy crap, man. You know, I'm a black man. And I try to love my black people. I ain't trying to impress the white man. I get up on here and try to, even if I had a, a brother that was kind of messed up or something, I try to help him first. Get his man right. But this nigga, I call him a nigga because he's not my brother. Oscar. If I was so bad, I so whatever you claim I was, a bitch and all this, why didn't you confront me? Why didn't you confront me and I say, hey, look, bitch, nigga. Uh, uh, nigga, I would have told you apart. You and your whole crew, you knew it. You was afraid of me. All you niggas that want to talk behind my back, and people that is afraid of me. But you know, I consider it respect. When I hear somebody talk behind my back, I consider it respect. Respect me. Because if you do it in my face, it's disrespect. You better do it behind my back like a coward. You know, if you got something to say to me uh, about me, bad, or uh, something you made up, do it behind the back, behind my back. Do not get in my face with it. And if you run your mouth, don't let me see you. That's why I stand on this issue. That's it. And then again, you're going to tell my agent. See, my agent ain't never been through all this penal stuff. You know, I got an agent that, you know, went through school. He's a working man. This man going to tell my agent, it's Oscar, that when he was in prison, he had knives or uh, scissors taped all the way around his hand and all that stuff. Well, you a coward? What are you scared of? I didn't have no scissors taped in mine. I thought, nigga, I can knuckle up anything. I don't need weapons. A person that scared that every time he come out of his cell, he got knives and stuff. Ain't nobody even thinking about him. He's just he's scared. Paranoid scary, he's a bitch. That's the bitch. I said I'm not going to use them words, but uh, yeah, he's a bitch. You are, Oscar, a bitch. And you lied, nigga. I didn't even know this man in prison. We didn't never talk. We didn't never sit down. I passed and say, what's up, Oscar? And all that, hey, please. We didn't do none of that. So, if you got something to say about me, my fans want to know, did you see it? Did you witness it? Did somebody tell you? Or you just don't like it? You know, you got people out here running their mouth about you and don't even know you. 
Don't know you, your business or nothing, but they'll make shit up. Gospel. Dramatizing it. And you know, like he got an issue with me. That's the difference between running your mouth and running it like you got a beef. Because we got a beef, man, we can solve it easy. You know, I ain't with all that old had me had nothing, scared to walk through the streets. I wasn't afraid in prison. I ain't afraid that. I don't give a fuck about y'all got guns out here, nigga. You think I, I'm afraid of a gun? You need more than that dealing with me. You know what? I wouldn't wish me on my worst enemy. That's how, that's, how, that's how bad I can get. I wouldn't wish me on my worst enemy. Because, nigga, I come at you in so many ways, nigga, you would wish you never even saw me or heard of me. But you know what? I'm more intelligent than you. I ran across people like you in penitentiary. Motherfuckers is about ready to die. Run their mouth. I kick their ass. I go to the hole, pick up time. And I sit there like, hey, I do this shit, man. Nigga didn't even get a lick in. Motherfucker screamed and hollered, please, don't hit me, please. Get to the house. It's frustrating, man. I, I fought so much, I got fatigue in fighting. And then I got wise, right? You know, because I keep running into people that trying to impress white people. Are they trying to impress somebody? You know, and uh, but I never had an issue with Oscar until he ran his mouth. And he don't even know me. Talking about he's a bitch. You, what, 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 why, why are you doing behind a camera? Why, why can't you come on me face to face? I don't care if you got a gun. I bet if I can give you a gun, you still be afraid to say it in my face. That's how afraid you are of me. You a bitch. And I can say this to your face. If I knew where you was right now, nigga, I'd be up to your doorstep. Hard. You wouldn't have to wait six months to live. People talking about he's 74 years. I wouldn't give a fuck if you 102, nigga, hooked up to a lightsaber machine. I would pull the plug off you. You rotten. You a liar. You rotten. You ain't got no respect for your own can for yourself. Talking about you was in penitentiary. You was 5'8", weighing 140 or 30. Back in them days when you was in our, every, all them inmates in our was huge. Weightlifters. They had the regular weights on the yard then. You know, even all, they was huge. So I can just imagine you getting fucked in your ass. I bet you, I, I bet you if I contact some people that were locked up with you back in them days, they would tell me that you done been fucked or you were sucking dicks, or you was or doing something with somebody white in her. That's how it always come out with. They don't mess with the black cause they say black people run their mouth or tell on them. So in the penitentiary, all these, the ones that is gay, they do it on a secret tip, they do it with white boys. So that they can't have no repercussions. Uh, they don't know the hood, they don't know my family. I don't have to worry about all that. It's crazy, but I want people like Jay-Z, T.I., Dr. Dre, Eminem, all y'all. Y'all already know, Boosie, all y'all, y'all already know this crap. It's how you handle it, right? You got a lot of other black men trying to get to the top. But as we try to get to the top, we got our own kind trying to pull us down. They, they, they everywhere. I don't care if you're a black man or a black woman. When you start rising to the top, your own kind going to come in and try to pull you down. You know, Effie talk mouth, Uncle Tom, slave mentality having uh, people would do. That's what they do to their own kind. They still got that branded in them from the white man. How to turn their they own can down. And still trying to lift each other up, turn down. See, this is what Oscar was on. This is what he did on the streets, I bet. 
I didn't know him like, like it, you know. But I can tell you one thing, Africa. You are not a man in my eyes. You ain't shit, bro. You are an embarrassment to our race. You know, instead of trying to tear me down, people should congratulate me. You know what, Felice? You went through a lot of stuff, bro. And you came out of the penitentiary and changed me. See, I survived all that whooped ass and survived. Came out without a scratch, except the bullet wounds. But you know what? People like him, they paid for protection in prison. They hung around people that they feel would protect them. You know, can I hang around you, man? You know, I don't want nobody to jump on me type stuff, right? I hung alone, bro. My whole bit. I fought alone. My whole bit. And that's all I got to say to you, punk.